ideally you would have a trainer or a coach or a teaching assistant to to take care of uh, the students and moderate forums and like send out notifications at the right time or um, like interact with the students but sometimes that's not possible because either maybe you have not the resources or maybe it's too expensive or maybe you just need to scale to too many students so that you can't really do that one by one and in this case uh, what um, what you can use is our plugin pulse uh, to at least automate some of the interactions and what i mean by that um, i can show you here in this demo course um, so what you see here is three instances of polls. Usually I wouldn't show that to students. So usually I would hide them um, on the course page. But if I hide them for the presentation, that would be ridiculous because I, you don't see anything because I can't show you the notifications that have been sent out. So, so keep in mind, this is just for presentation purposes that you see something on the page here. If I look at the settings of the polls activity, um, I can explain a little more about how they work. So basically I've just put in a little text here um, with, a, uh, with a placeholder so that I can address somebody personally. And then the only thing that I've done here is like, this is supposed to be a welcome message is in the invitation, I've added a subject and I've added some text using some more um, placeholders um, to um, send an automated personalized individual notification to the student upon enrollment. So if you want to inform students about something once the course starts, once they enroll, you can use this means um, in, in, because Moodle doesn't really provide a good way to do that for enrollments that are not self-enrollments. So that's, that's one of the use cases that you can do with that. Um, another one would be to um, to send them a reminder or follow-up message later on. So let's have a look at this one. So in this case, um, again, some text, which is visible, but you can of course also hide that. And then we're not using an invitation, we're using a reminder. A reminder is also a notification, uh, which has a notification subject, which is sent as the email subject later on, and some text, again, with some placeholders. And in this case, we don't send it immediately upon enrollment, we send it, at, um, at a relative date, which is one week after enrollment. So this is basically something like a follow-up message, like a reminder, which is meant to re-engage students, to, to pull them back into the platform, should they not have already completed enough activities, or if their grade is not sufficient, or whatever you really need to re-engage um, your, your students and drive motivation and, and pull them back into the platform. The way this works is that you can First of all, you can define a schedule, so send it after a certain amount of time. And the other thing that you can do is you can you can say when it should send and when it should be disabled and prevent it from sending. In this case, what I've done is I've said that only if the student has not completed the espresso feedback, then I'm going to send this notification. So if the student has already provided feedback, there's no reason to ask for feedback because they've already done so. And I can use any kind of restrictions for that purpose. I can say, if you have completed that activity, but not that activity, um, I can remind you to complete this activity. If you have at a certain date, not maybe signed up for an online session or signed up for a meeting or not submitted your assignment, um, you can do that by um, using the date restriction and the activity completion of that um, assignment. If students have not um, um, joined a learning group, I can um, send them a reminder to join a learning group or suggest to join a learning group if they're not part of a grouping. So there's lots of opportunities here to automate courses, make them more adaptive, make them more flexible and to have an individual learning path for your students. Um, but Pulse is quite complex and has lots of scenarios that you can do with it. So this was really just scratching the surface a little bit, uh, just as a teaser. So if you're interested in course automation and in, in interactions that are automated and notification schedules and stuff like that, um, then have a look at polls um, and we'll, we'll surely cover polls in more detail in one of the other sessions. Mm -hmm.